Hi there, Halu here, and welcome back to another glimpse into my life. If you're new, I'm really happy you're joining me. Your presence is appreciated. Let's dive into what I got up to at the end of April and throughout May 2024. Joined my family for a quick brunch at Delicious Food Corner, a Hong Kong cafe, and then I spent the rest of my day working from home. My usual Monday. Mom made these tofu skin wrapped taro thingies for dinner that were absolutely delicious. If you know me, I love my crunchy things. Kind of like a fried sinjokin from dim sum. We also had some leftover popcorn chicken my coworkers didn't finish, and a staple Hong Kong inspired dish, eggs and tomatoes. I of course brought what I ate for dinner for lunch the next day, and don't worry, I didn't forget the veggies. You didn't think I was gonna straight up eat fried food and rice, did you? I mean, I would've. Next day for lunch, I brought my mom's version of teak kol. It's pretty much a slowly braised pork until it's super tender. My favorite is when she adds boiled eggs and some tofu alongside. We decided to go to a cha chan tang or gong sik sai chan by the name of Eat Bistro for dinner. Of course, getting some chicken wings and fried rice and, you know, other delectable dishes. You know when the food slaps when James Wang, attorney at law, is on the placemats? God bless that man. If you're not familiar with a cha chan tang or gong sik sai chans, they're pretty much a cafe with cheap er I mean, everything's so goddamn expensive these days, and affordable Hong Kong cuisine. You'll find these places open till like 4 a.m. for all the after party goers and like late night eaters. For dinner, my mom made pho gas, aka chicken pho for dinner. Yeah, as you can already see, this week was all about eating my mom's cooking. Mom makes a big pot of mud pho gyeh unlike any other I've tried. The slowly simmered broth is ever so flavorful and freshly stripped chicken meat straight from chicken land. No seriously, my mom gets her chicken from a place called chicken land. The following night we had some eggs and tomatoes again and also my absolute favorite chicken wings. Okay, if you've never had my parents' chicken wings before, I know they look pretty regular, but believe me, no restaurant out there can beat the juiciness and fall off the bone experience that is my parents' chicken wings. They're honestly worth selling, and all that paired with some fresh cucumbers grown outside in our yard. On Sunday, my family and I went out for dim sum. There's this big rooster outside of the restaurant, so naturally I'm gonna put my nephew on top of it. Okay, what the heck, I guess I just ate super good food this week. For dinner, my mom made bun ryu. I can never really say that word. Bun ryu, ryu, bun ryu, bun ryu. Anyways, she made literally all my favorite foods this week. How lucky am I? Same with Fuga, her bunru is an Olympic archer hitting the bullseye. It's packed with so much flavor from the slowly simmered pork, but isn't too fishy or shrimpy as I've tried from other restaurants that serve it. And freaking short rib? I can't believe I had bunru and short rib in one night. No wonder I am so chunky these days. Skipping forward a few days, I started off Wednesday morning with a quick leg session at the gym. That's pretty much it. May 10th was Friday, so of course at work we treated ourselves out to some Hawaiian barbecue. I forget where this is from, but it was okay. Nothing special you couldn't get elsewhere. I do remember it was like 20, nearly $30 for this plate though. Why is good food so expensive? Today is Saturday, May 11th, the end of the work week. Finally! This entire week's been pretty much normal. Been getting up early to go to the gym. Been have not been getting up early to work on the vlog though. There's just like mo no motivation I have to like get up and work on a vlog where I just consistently talk about how work has been chill, but I just need to catch up on like doing them so that I'm at the current week so I can make them more fun, which is why I haven't been vlogging every single day. Um, I haven't been recording my dinner or lunches unless it's like a little bit more interesting. I've just been going through the week as a normal individual living their life. There's nothing been too exciting. The only exciting part of my life, honestly, right now is that AFK Journey had a seasonal update and there's a lot of new content and I've been totally about that. Also, I booked tickets to go to Japan later in June. Um, so me and my girlfriend have been planning that and kind of just figuring out what we should do throughout our trip. 
Um, but tonight, I am gonna go be. I am gonna go meet up with my housemates. We are gonna go to see more Kismet. I don't know if he has any openers, but it should be a fun night. I always look forward to hanging out and going out with my old housemates to shows. Um, but before that, I am gonna go pick up some flowers for my mother and my grandmother as tomorrow is Mother's Day. I usually buy it for my mom, my grandma, and my sisters, but my sisters aren't really around this time uh, since my other sister had moved to Vegas and I just don't think my other sister really likes flowers that way. Um, but I will wish her a happy Mother's Day. Um, in addition to that, the florist is my friend's mom and it is her birthday, so I got her some wine. Uh, from this like Chinese wine store. They sold like Chinese wines, but also I guess red wine and that kind of stuff. But anyways, it was a small little store and like they just, they were like staring at me and speaking Chinese and I don't know, I always feel weird even though I work at a place where they all speak Chinese. It just kind of feels weird when Chinese people are staring at me. Anyways, I'm headed over to a Hong Kong cafe because in addition to this wine I bought, I would like to get my um, friend's mom uh, her favorite thing from this like Hong Kong cafe, um, uh, just as a you know birthday gift um, and to kind of show appreciation because um, this particular friend's mom is, it treats me like her own son and I feel you know just like another additional thank you in addition to like the flowers that she's like putting together for me. So I'm gonna go pick up this food real quick um, and then head over to get the flowers, then meet up with my housemates for dinner. So stay tuned, the rest of the night should be pretty exciting. I always get my flowers from my friend's mom on Mother's Day. She runs a shop located in the San Gabriel Valley called Fragrant Flowers and makes extravagant arrangements that are competitively priced. Next time you guys decide to get your loved ones some pretty plants, I suggest you go there. Following that, I met up with my old housemates and friends at Kokiri. It's the sort of get it yourself in the fridge, hot pot, and barbecue. They have all kinds of meats that you might want with a variety of sides and it's also quite affordable. My friend mentioned that she's been coming here ever since high school and I feel like I came here once before many years ago but I don't quite remember it. After that we went to go see more Kismet and this is all the footage I have from that night and I don't remember what else happened. Hello it is Halu here. I had a little bit too much to drink last night and so I woke up this morning a little tired. Um, and I really, really needed some soup, but actually I ended up ordering porridge and pork chop. I got this preserved egg and pork porridge along with some yo tiu, which is called Chinese donut in English. But uh, yeah, it's a fried stick of bread. <laughs> and a sadan, sadan, pork chop fried rice. Not fried rice, just sadan pork chop rice. It's not soup, but it'll do. I also got a cold yin yang, which is just coffee and tea. I'm gonna enjoy my day off today. Monday, May 13th was a working day, so I probably just worked all day at home and then ate some hot pot for dinner. Got some meat from the supermarket, fish balls and tofu, hikama, enoki mushrooms, cilantro, um, I don't know what plant this is, tomatoes, shrimp, and squid. I used some satay mala base for my side of the pot, and with a dip of some homemade satay sauce, my mouth was a dance party. On Tuesday night, my dad took some of the hot pot meat and made a stir fried beef with some onions. We also had fried fish, shrimp, and like the stems of what they used to make sin choy. Kinda too bitter for my liking. Friday, May 17th, my coworkers and I went out for Thai. I wanted to try something other than pad thai or like boat noodles, so I got this grilled chicken which honestly took way too long to come out, but it was delicious nonetheless. 
I met up with my friend Chris to get some bungo hue for lunch. We had planned on going out for some pho, but actually met up at the wrong spot. So we chose the closest thing between us, which was Na Trang, located in Rosemead, California. Wait, hi. hi! Hello! We're here gonna eat some bungo hue, you know. We were supposed to get something else, but we went to two different locations, <laughs> and now we're here. Now we're here. <laughs> Hi there, Holly here. It is Monday night, May 20th, 2024. And just wanted to tune in and give myself an update on how life has been. All of last week was completely off. I maybe woke up early twice out of the entire week. I blame that on the alcohol that was consumed last weekend. Maybe I'm reaching the age where it is just harder. It is just harder to ingest alcohol where you really reach an age where it's like it's not the same anymore you don't want to do those things that you used to do all the time as a as a young 20 year old or something and i guess that's a sign of aging but i don't know i like it i like that my life isn't back-to-back -back nights drinking alcohol staying up late i like that i try to sleep early i like that i'm trying to be productive most nights Except for last week, it was just completely off. I didn't even want to do anything. After work, I would just want to go to sleep. I'd play some games, play some AFK Journey, and just like crash because I did not want to do a single thing. And also because of my laziness, I spent some time with some friends online and played some games, which also was a factor in uh, not being able to wake up early all of last week. But I wanted to just come in here and just kind of update myself, and I say myself because most of these vlogs are for me. That, yeah, after maybe a little over four months of vlogging, I've kind of learned what to capture. I've, I've learned what to record and what to try and remember. Because if you've been watching since the beginning of my recently uploaded videos, it started with dailies and then it went to weeklies and then now it's like deciding to do monthly but now it's like every two weeks it's like let's just say that there is no structure there is no schedule and i'm just gonna record whenever i feel like it i think that's the best solution to me in this space is just whenever it feels natural and whenever i feel like i want to do it because Recording the same thing every day, giving myself like a period of like I have to record in the morning after I go gym and do all the things that I needed to do. And then I have to go eat lunch and then I have to record when I'm eating lunch and just talk about my my days are my days are the same. And and the reason I did that to begin with was just because I wanted to resonate with other people that a day-to-day -day job is just a normal day-to-day -day job and most people have it and not to glamorize everything you see on the internet so many people put content out there like they're living their life and they're making over six figures at like 26 years old like or they're 20 years old and they've already sold their first comp i don't know they, my algorithm sucks my algorithm is a bunch of like young people making a bunch of money and i get why that's my algorithm i i want to make money i want to find success somewhere but i don't think that those videos are for me i think that a lot of those kind of videos are motivating and do bring in a lot of viewers because people who are young are at least 20 to 30 years old they want to live a nice life while they're young. They want to go on vacation and travel to exquisite places and live the life of luxury. Who doesn't want to do that? And it's good content, but it's like, I realize not every single person can do that. And not everyone is built to do that. There are so many people out there that don't have loving families that can just like put all their efforts into something or, um, don't need to spend time with their girlfriends or significant other because they just focus on themselves or you know they don't have any friends so they just kind of do their own thing all day every day and it's like we as consumers who are trying to make something of ourselves cannot absorb that content and think that it will work one for one for our lives 
I think we all just have to search for something our own way, do something that makes sense to us, learn from our own mistakes, but keep making mistakes so you can keep learning and really build the version of yourself that makes sense to you. And that's what I really want to bring to this channel is that I'm a normal nine to five Chinese immigrant family son who lives at home and has a normal job but strives to do a lot of things because I believe I have a lot of interest and I want to do a lot of different things. There's a million things running on my mind all day and I've tried so many things too and it's like I've tried streaming, I've tried being a photographer, I've tried doing YouTube vid videos in the past. Like I used to do these like YouTube videos content trying to like inspire people and motivate people but that was more of like my spirituality side when I was living in San Francisco and I was so to totally just absorbed in the mindfulness and wellness space and health and nutrition and you know. We all go through these different phases and we like try to do what makes sense to us at that minute and for me I've always tried strategic methods but I always resort back to going to what feels good and what feels natural for myself. Yeah that's what I want to bring out in this channel is just like my real life experiences because really this video is for me, these videos and these vlogs are for me to look back on because I suck with dates. <laughs> I was just talking to my girlfriend today how vlog me vlogging is just me helping me remember what goes on in my day-to-day -day life because I'm so caught up in the present, I'm so caught up in the future that I never stop to think what happened and how that's changed me. So I forget a lot of dates, I forget a lot of times, I forget a lot of things and that's not because I don't I have a bad memory, I actually have pretty good memory. But I don't recall things so easily because the things that are on my mind at this minute are just things that are occurring at this time and at the present. Making these videos helps me really see the difference in who I am over the course of time. Yeah, I mean, vlogs went from dailies to weeklies to monthlies and now there's just no schedule. I'm just going to vlog when it feels right, when it's worth capturing. Yeah, just continue it that way because, you know, forcing vlogs to happen is not really the best either. If I have to do it at a certain time each day and then put it together at a certain time, like this restriction of life itself, it doesn't work with me. It doesn't work with me, but that's good because here I am capturing this experience, trying to, tr trying different things out. You know, not everything needs to be the same. Things can change. And um, here I am just trying things out. Back to, you know, my week. I had an off week last week and, and on Sunday yesterday, which was, uh, you know, I gymmed, got a haircut, realized that my passport's about to expire before this trip. So immediately got, to, got the application, expedited it. Today I went to the post office, took my uh, passport photo and um, got that all processed so that's sent out and that's taken care of and then I had a day of work uh, from home and I just finished with that. I also helped my parents with some things and um, I edited a vlog and put that out yesterday so I'm feeling pretty good for the start of the week. Yeah, just wanted to come on here and say that even though things might not go your way one week, you just gotta bounce back and think about what it is that you actually wanna do. Even recording this video right here, and it's about to end because of the timer, took me a couple tries because it just, as I was saying, it took me a couple tries because it just didn't feel natural to me because I was thinking too hard about like what to say and feeling a little bit stupid about saying certain things but I'm just gonna let my mouth naturally flow into the camera and capture this moment because that's what I want to encapsulate. Is that a word? That's what I want to showcase that we are all human. We are all normal beings. We aren't perfect. We can't do everything right 
and uh, we make a lot of mistakes and sometimes we're crappy and sometimes we're good and sometimes we're lazy and sometimes we're hardworking and there's just uh, there's just so much to us. There's just so much to every single person out there. But I am going to be heading to bed after this, maybe playing some AFK before bed. And um, yeah, hoping to a good week. I'll get up in the morning and edit uh, my next vlog, which I'm catching up to the start of April very soon. So this right now being May 20th, almost, at, almost the end of May, I'm catching up. And, um, you know, I think the way that I work, the way that I'm thinking about things these days is helping me a lot with catching up on the vlogs and making it a lot easier to catch up because I'm not trying to like stick every single part of my day into one video anymore. I'm not trying to make sure every part of my day, every freaking little thing I eat is recorded. I'm just trying to capture the good moments and the moments that matter stuff that I find important in my own life. But that doesn't include everything because, I mean, I think it would have been really cool if I made a whole segment on like me booking stuff for Japan and all that stuff, but I don't want to go through editing all that. So <laughs> once the Japan vlog comes out, once we actually go to the Japan and the Japan vlog comes out, things will get a lot more interesting. But you know, this whole week, this whole past week, I've just been focusing on uh, booking reservations and uh, making sure that me and my girlfriend's trip to Japan later this June is going to be amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and catch myself up with everything. Have a wonderful night. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you and just keep being good as best as you can. Am I talking to myself or you guys? I think we both should take that advice. Okay, uh, gonna get off here. Bye. Do you guys ever feel that mom knows best because today I was craving sushi, like really, really badly. I was also craving In-N-Out and I was sitting at work and I was like starving in the morning and I just really, really wanted sushi so badly. And suddenly my mom was like, hey, I'm at a sushi restaurant. What do you want from, for dinner? And I was like, ah, so let's go see what I got. I asked my mom to get me a combination bento box as it was pretty cheap. My fat ass knew a couple of rolls weren't gonna satisfy me. You could choose any two items to come with it, so I got katsu and calamari. I also got the Carlos special roll. I don't know who Carlos is, but he sure has a good roll. It came with albacore, avocado, and my favorite, fried onions. I demolished this dinner. Skipping 10 days later, it was Friday, and we went to the best Hawaiian spot in town, Bachan's Takeout, located in Montebello, California. This little hidden gem has to be one of the best Hawaiian spots in my area, serving super authentic Hawaiian food at a great price. I usually get the firakake crusted ahi tuna plate, but man, every time I have it, it's so filling. That was all for the month of May. I know it was mostly food, but I'm going through changes on how these vlogs work and experimenting a little bit. Whatever I decide to do, I'm glad you're here along for the ride. Thank you for watching and hollow at you later.